welcome back to Living Our American Dream. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. Uh, all I'll say about that is in the political environment that we're in, I can be kind of an opinionated person. And I figure if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything. So it's been a while since I've posted. But uh, you can see behind me and you've seen the video, the truck just delivered a few yards of crushed concrete. And I've got a 24 inch culvert that I want to put in uh, in a ditch that I previously have it had a timber bridge across. The timber bridge has been up there for about three years now and when I say timber bridge uh, it's built out of a couple of cottonwood trees and those cottonwood trees over the course of the time have started to deteriorate a little bit and I need a crossing at this particular spot uh, to get my tractor across there and work the food plots and maintain the trails and whatnot so I thought you know what instead of putting in the effort to build another bridge, I would just go ahead and put a culvert crossing in. So that's what this video is and I hope you enjoy it. So here's the ditch and I'm standing on a spot where a culvert actually used to be previously. So when we bought this property, there was a smooth culvert that was right here and it was crushed and water was getting backed up here. So in the last couple of years, I've taken out the dirt, I've taken out the old culvert, but this concrete header still remains. So. I measured the size of this thing to be 27 inches and I bought a culvert at 20, it's a 24 inch culvert but it's about 25 and a half on the outside. It should slide right inside of this thing and then I've got a load of dirt up there. Uh, it's actually crushed concrete. We're going to go ahead and fill this thing in uh, where we have a crossing right here. But I wanted to show this because looking at the historical images from this property this concrete header in this crossing has been here since the 1950s. All right, so here's our setup. You can see behind me, I've got the culvert rigged up with the chain in the very center. So when we pick it up in one spot, I should be able to manipulate that thing kind of like a teeter-totter. Michael's gonna drive the tractor in. So I got my rubber boots on, let's see if this thing works. So I wanna show one thing that we did for rigging right here is I wanna be able to reach out as far as possible with the tractor to be able to manipulate this without the tractor having to drive in the ditch. So I put a couple of seat clamps on the end of the forks. When he picks this up, we'll make sure that he's tilting back so we don't come off the end here. But we're going to basically be utilizing the very end of the forks. And in the event that it does slip forward, we've got the seat clamps here tightened up quite a bit to be able to catch everything. So let's give it a shot. Drive this way and forward. Watch your tire, don't drive off the edge. Now, 
if for some reason the tractor starts going, I'm going to stay out of the way. You just drop the load. Okay? Don't let it tip over. You understand? I'll stay out of the way. Once you turn your wheels straight, turn them straight. All right, so that laid in there pretty easy, actually. It worked just like I wanted it to. Come on over here, Mike. Show. Mike's my cameraman today, by the way. So we set this up, and matter of fact, let me see the camera. So we've got this culvert down here in the hole. This, but if you look right here, this culvert easily fits inside this hole. Now it's time to go get some gravel. So I used up most of this material now and you can see that I've got the culvert placed. It's on a pretty good high speed tilt. It's draining good and we've packed this crushed concrete in around the culvert so that it shouldn't have any crushing problems. And the width from about right here, not all the way to the end here, but about right here over to the edge of this, which is going to get covered with topsoil is about 12 feet 10 to 12 feet so i got a nice wide crossing here now if i ever want to make this crossing wider i trim these trees out you know this area right here and this area right here and i can get another load of material drop it right in on top of this section of the culvert and i can have a good 18 foot wide this is a 20 foot culvert so i could have an 18 foot wide crossing right here if i ever wanted it what this looks like on this end is we put some material in and around the hole right up through here you can't see it right here but it's got gravel right in it uh, crushed concrete and I put a little bit right there uh, for settling purposes so the muck and the stuff kind of settles out of the water as it's running through there and it's gonna kind of I don't know build up right there a little bit and it won't force its way around there. It goes a frog. Now, if anything, um, I may take a little bit of uh, grout or filler material and try to cover the rest of this up, just so when the water gets, you know, halfway up that, if it ever gets that high, um, gives it something to hold it back a little bit more. But as you can see, there's a lot of material on the back side of this, so it's it's not going to be a problem. So uh, I'm going to go over to this side here. And you can see this ridge is a little bit high right here. I'm gonna cut that down and use that topsoil on this side of my cornfield. 
and I'm going to push all that material down on top of here and we're going to make this crossing level. So we're going to do that right now. All right, so I'm cutting down the ridge on the, on the far side over there. And like I said before, there used to be a crossing right here. Obviously, that's where this concrete came from in the first place. If I turn the camera over here, I've dug up this spot in the past to build the ramp for my timber bridge. Beyond these trees is a creek, and it's probably 50 feet wide. And directly over there, underneath this oak tree right here, there used to be a bridge right there. And when this 10 acre piece of property sat here by itself, that bridge served as access to this piece of property. Now, when I bought it, there was no access from the road because back in the 50s, that bridge got washed away and uh, no bridge was ever put there uh, to replace it. But from the old imagery that I found, there was a driveway that came in right there and came basically right across my plot here. You can see all these rocks that are in my food plot. Uh, my pumpkin patch and they come right down through here and they crossed where this culvert used to be and what I'm finding I, I dug some of the topsoil out with the box blade and if I walk over here I'll show you what I found and the farther I dig down this is the base of that old driveway right here that's the topsoil mixed in with gravel mixed in with this this large rock here these are the size of baseballs and it's all down through here so really I'm shaving the top off of this a little bit. I'm not using this for a driveway, so I don't have to have this be super, super solid, you know? So I'm gonna actually use some of this material to push back on top of my culvert, and that's gonna serve as some of my, my base to cover the culvert. You can see I'm almost to where I wanna be for a crossing right here. So I shave this area right here down just a little bit more, push that over top of there, smooth it all out, and we'll be golden. So last night we finished the project and it got a little bit too dark for me to take our close out video here, but uh, this is the final product. Mark will do uh, a little drive through here in a second, but it turned out really well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like our videos, subscribe, share them with your friends, and we will see you on the next one.